Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the benefits of performing an interim exercise and we'll go into that exercise just as soon as we're done with this discussion here. So our first benefit we see is training the body in all three planes of movement. Uh, we have the sagittal, the frontal, and the trans transverse movement planes. Uh, again, like most, most uh, exercises that people do nowadays are traditionally like sagittal planes just in the front, you know, like uh, bicep curls or deadlifts, squats. Um, even lunges if you're going in front, so you, you know if you do like a lunge to the side or a transverse lunge, then you'll be able to you know attack the different planes of movement. It's important that we attack all three planes of movement when we work out because our body's used to being able to move. Like our body's supposed to be able to move, so we have rotation available. We have different planes that we're able to move in. So you want to make sure that you train your body properly. Um, two, we have integrating the movement between the head, shoulder, and pelvis. So it's like similar to the forward ball roll concept. Of just getting all three parts of the body moving together. The forward roll is mostly is the shoulder and pelvis, right? So we look at that complex, but now we're gonna even incorporate the head because now we have movement going on. So now we incorporate the head, the shoulder, and the pelvis just moving together. So it's it's pretty difficult and really challenging. It could take a little while to get, but again, it's good for the body because once again, like that's how the body naturally likes to move everything together, not just like not in isolation. All right, so nothing fixed in this case. Uh, three, we have reinforcing proper breathing and movement patterns. So if we think about the spine, how our body naturally moves, if we, let's look from the side, when I inhale, I get taller, exhale, I flex. So with the intro, you're going to see with the head movement, the neck, when I inhale, I'm going to ex go into extension of the neck and then exhale, I'm going to go into flexion of the neck. So you see here, inhale, extension, exhale, flexion. So that, that's another benefit of doing this exercise. And then four, it trains the inner unit and outer unit core musculature. It's a very intense uh, exercise. So we're in inner unit, we have TVA, so transverse abdominis, right? A lot of people call it lower abdominals. Um, multifidus, right? Those are the muscles actually like along the erector spine, right? So lower back, uh, again, inner unit. So very, very small, very, um, very small movement. Um, really just used to stabilize the spine and internal oblique, the posterior fibers, all right? So we have the internal oblique for both inner and outer unit. So we want to make sure that we know, all right, the posterior fibers are for stabilization and the outer unit fibers are for movement. Okay, so inner unit is for stabilization and outer unit is for mo movement. And I'll, I'll do a video on this just to explain that concept as well. Um, so we have outer unit, we have rectus abdominis, all right? So remember, upper abdominals basically, and we'll, Create inflection of the trunk, right? Flexion of the trunk. So if I'm throwing a ball, right? I'm flexing the trunk. If I'm flexing my spine, then I'm using my upper abdominals, my rectus abdominis. External obliques, they'll couple with the internal obliques, the anterior fibers, right? When we want to rotate. So if we're looking at any rotation like tennis, uh, hockey, most sports basically, because every sport you play, you most likely have to rotate in some form or fashion. So you have golf, tennis, baseball, uh, hockey. Uh, you name it, football, you know, throwing motion, so rotation. Um, yeah, so any sport, you're going to have to rotate. So again, sports or life, you're going to have to do so many, any of these movements and you're going to have to make sure that all these muscles are firing properly because everything, they all work in integration. That's how the body functions. Okay, so now we're going to go on and actually perform an inchworm. All right, so now I'm going to show you the inchworm from the side view. That way you can see the actual movement that takes place with very, again, limited movement from the ex like extremities of the body. Really just watch my pelvis, the shoulder, and the, and the neck, and you'll see everything that's going on. So I'm gonna start in the back. Arms up here, feet off the floor. I'm gonna go ahead and go into extension, so inhale. Then you see I flex here as well. So that's the intro towards the tail, right? The tail, head. So now I'm gonna go towards the head. So now we get into the rotation. So that was sagittal plane, now we go into transverse and frontal plane. So then I go.
So you'll see when I'm going back up towards the head, I couple the neck extension here with knee flexion, but also a side flexion coming this way. So that's my, that's my frontal plane work, because I'm side flexing this way. So I'm extending, side flexing, and rotating at the same time. All right, and then when I'm going down, everything is just sagittal plane. Same plane I would do if I was doing dumbbell curls. All right, so yeah, have sagittal going down and then going up this way, I have transverse and frontal. All right, so very difficult exercise. If you look closely, it's very it's similar to the lower abdominal um, stages that we did when I was doing the lower abdominal series. So just be careful. Uh, doing it too long or doing it too soon, you may not be ready for this. If you are, if you do it too soon, you may feel some lower back pain, and it's just a weakness in the um, TBA, transverse or lower abdominal, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure you strengthen that muscle. Okay, so before you go into that, make sure you go and go through the lower abdominal series. It's very important that your uh, your uh, lower abdominals TBA is strong enough before you go into this exercise. It's pretty difficult. All right. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also check out the website, thekindofwellness.com. Thanks.